Hi everybody, today I will show you how to use Adobe Analytics. So let's just begin. Okay, so first of all, you have to search for the Adobe Analytics in the Google. And from here, as you can see that we have the Adobe Analytics here. It is actually the web analytics for the better business intelligence. Okay, so let's click here. All right, so we are inside the website of the Adobe. Okay, so the Adobe Analytics is the product of the Adobe. So if you want to get free access to the analysis workspace sandbox, you will simply click here, get access. And after that, you need to click on the get started here. And after that, you need to sign up to get free access to the analysis workspace sandbox. So click on the sign up. And from here, you would actually sign up your detail and you will submit your detail. And after submitting the detail, they will contact you for the access of the Adobe analysis. Okay, so now let's talk about the Adobe analysis and their features and the benefits of it. Okay, so first of all, we're going to talk about the web analysis. Okay, so with the web analysis, we get the faster results by collecting the streaming web data. All right, for the faster analysis and the insight. And in the second, we have the marketing analysis. So in the marketing analysis, we actually use the multiple digital channels, uh, bringing the data under a one roof to get the real time insight based on a holistic view of the customer. And the third one is the attribution. Okay, so we use the attribution to do the better decision making here. And we also have the predictive analysis. Okay, so the Adobe analysis actually use the previous data that you have currently right now and based on that data, it actually gives the predictive analysis. All right. So with the help of Adobe Analytics, we actually get the analysis on the personalized level. Adobe Analysis allows you to get a real time insight for finding the deepest, most actionable views into helping your customer. And we also have the Adobe Target. It actually integrates your analytics, experimentation and the personalization. And we also have the Adobe Target, which actually integrate your analysis, experimentation and the personal tools. So you can use the Adobe Analysis data as a single source of the truth uh, for the A-B testing, personalization strategies and rest of your targeting. All right. So now we will actually talk about the features of the Adobe Analysis. So let's click on the features and see all the features. Okay. So in the Adobe Analysis feature. Uh, the first thing is about the collect and mirror. Okay, so these are the features that collect and mirrors the data. So we have the multi-channel data collection. We have the custom variable. We have the unique processing rule, analytics for the streaming media, tag management and the data egress and the data feed. Okay, so the multi-channel data collection simply means that Adobe Analysis offers the multiple ways to capture the data from virtually any source. It could be the web, it could be the email, it could be the campaign or web-based NOx, mobile devices, client server application, and etc. Okay, so in the custom variables, we actually collect the data that really helps you to achieve your business goals. And we have the unique processing rules. So in the unique processing rules, we actually populate the report variables and defining the visitor segmentation rules that allows you to create a real-time segmentation of all online data without creating the complex rules on your website. And we also have the analytics for the streaming media. And we have the take management as well. And we have the data egress in the data feed. Okay, so in the data egress and the data feed, they actually provide an extended storage, the, the data reprocessing and the reporting capabilities for the customer data. And after that, we really explore and understand the data. Okay, so we actually use all of these uh, metrics, uh, the advanced calculated metrics, the advanced segmentations, the ad hoc analysis, cohort analysis and the cross device analysis and the flow analysis to put our customer in the context. Okay, so the in advanced calculated matrix, we actually calculate the matrix that enable you to combine the matrix to create the mathematical and statistical operations that are used as the new matrix. And in the advanced segmentation, we actually create a unique user segments based on the behavior. Okay, uh, to evaluate across the reports and in other Adobe experience cloud solution and we also have the ad hoc analysis so in the ad hoc analysis you get a robust flexible canvas for building the custom analysis projects and we have the cohort analysis 
in which we actually create and compare the group of customers with the shared characteristics over the time to help you recognize and analyze the significant trends. We have the cross device analysis. Okay, so in the cross device analysis, it actually helps to unify your application and the web data in a single source of the data to better understand the customer journey. And we have the flow analysis. So we actually use the flow analysis to view the customer's journey, seeing whether they go as well as where they leave the application and the sites. Okay, so in the last, we have the predict and the model. Okay, so the first part was to collect and mirror the data. And the second part was to explore and understand the data. And in the last, we actually do the prediction and the modeling. So we get a faster insight than everyone by using these uh, features in the predict and the model. We have the marketing attributes. We have the anomaly detection. We have the contribution detection and intelligent alerts, real-time data and segment compare. The marketing attribution offers the robust analysis of the customer behavior, providing the best fit model per channel based on the customer. And we have the anomaly detection. We have the statistical modeling and the machine learning that automatically find the unexpected anomalies in your data. And we have the contribution analysis. So in the contribution analysis, we discover the hidden patterns within your data to explain statistical anomalies and identify the correlations between the unexpected customer actions. And we have the intelligent alerts. So in the intelligent alerts, we create and manage the alerts based on the data anomalies and the stacked alerts that capture the multiple metrics in a single alert. And we have the real-time data. Okay, so with the help of a live stream feature in the Adobe analysis, we actually get the real-time stream of the unprocessed head-level data available within the seconds of collection. And we have the segment compare. So in the segment compare, we actually discover the most statistically significant differences among the segments through an automated analysis of every metrics and dimension. Okay, so in the last, we have the share and the act. So in the share and the act, we actually have the shared audience, audience analysis, advertising analysis, remarketing trigger, and adopt analyzing dashboard, and the third party integration. All right, so now we will actually go into the pricing and we will actually compare the competitive comparison and the pricing of the adopt analysis. Okay, so first of all, we will actually compare the Adobe analysis with its competition. So as you can see here in the capabilities, we have the collect in the mirror, uh, explore and understand, predict and the model and share and the act. So the competing solutions offer to collect the data from the limited number of the sources and then uh, the sample data. On the other hand, if we use the Adobe analysis, we collect the data from the wide range of the channels, including the voice, OTT, audio and the internet of the things. And in the explore and understand, the competing solutions have a static dashboard and the reports that are hard to customize, making it difficult and the time consuming to analyze the data. While on the other hand, with the Adobe analysis, they have the fully interactive dashboard that built for the power analytics and accessible to the marketer, giving you the ability to create and apply the segmentation. Okay, so in the predicting the model, the competing solution use a very limited data science and make it difficult for everyone in the company to use and act on. On the other hand, in the Adobe analysis, Sensei powers the feature like anomaly detection, contribution analysis. Okay, so in the last, in the share and the act, the competing solutions only offer the limiting integration with the other digital services. While on the other hand, the Adobe analysis as a part of the Adobe Express Cloud, they offer the integration with the best in class products like the Adobe Experience Manager, Adobe Target, Adobe Campaign, making it fast and easy to turn the insight into the action. Okay, so in the last, we will actually uh, compare the Adobe analysis pricing. So in the pricing, we actually have the three different packages. The first one is the select, the second one is the prime and the last one is the ultimate. Okay, so in the basic analysis, there's the comparison of the select prime and the ultimate. So all the packages offer everything, almost everything in the basic analysis, except the segment comparison in the select package. In the data collection or the channel analysis, only the ultimate package offers all of the features here. And the select and the prime feature do not offer the cross device analysis. And after that, we have the data transformation. Okay, so in the data transformation, 
the ultimate package actually offers every feature here but the select and the prime actually lacks the two features here the retroactive data reprocessing and in the data transformation the ultimate package actually offers all of these things but the select and the prime actually do not offer the two features here the retroactive data reprocessing and the field based identity stitching and after that we have the privacy and the governance and we have the audience segmentation and we have the augmented analysis with the AI or the machine learning and we have the journey visualization we have the data sharing and uh, demo creation and we have the integration and we have the analytics add-ons all right so that was the comparison of the three different packages of the adobe analysis and that's it for this video and if you really find this video informative hit the like button and subscribe the channel